Somebody asks, what are your thoughts on the U.S. Senate Bill S-1241 to criminalize concealed ownership of Bitcoin? Um, I have read the language of the bill. Um, first of all, in order for this to become law, it has to be considered by the Senate and then the House and reconciled in committee. If there's two different versions, then it has to be voted on by both uh, House and Senate. Then it has to be signed by the president or included in another bill. Then um, it has to translate into regulatory rules for agencies. Then the government and the regulatory agencies get sued, and then the courts get to interpret the latitude that this bill has to actually criminalize this behavior. There's a very long road, and it, a lot of things can change. So over the years, we've seen um, many people freak out about proposed language for a proposed bill in one of the two houses that will do X, Y, Z. Um, it takes a long time for that to actually get to um, affecting Bitcoin holders. Um, and so, what Senate Bill S-1241 does is it has some language that extends some of the requirements for money laundering and uh, controls for terrorist financing or counter-terrorist financing. Um, and uh, KYC extends some of those to organiz explicitly to organizations that manage digital currencies, and that includes exchange and things like that. And it also ex extends some of the money laundering laws that already exist in terms of structuring and concealing transactions to the use of digital currencies, which means that this may make it illegal to to uh, run a mixer in the United States, for example, a coin tumbler, as it's known, may. Who knows where this goes? Who knows how far it goes? And who knows what comes out once it's challenged in court? Um, you know, these things take a long time. So I'm not particularly worried. Uh, this doesn't really criminalize concealed ownership to Bitcoin. It criminalizes certain activities that indicate uh, concealed ownership of Bitcoin. Um, for example, ha if you have an obligation to report for other reasons and you fail to do so, or if you are using uh, running, sorry, a tumbler or an exchange um, in, in, in a way that is violating anti-money laundering. Le Résistance asks, if having Bitcoin is criminalized in your country, will you continue to publicly advocate for it? How best to prepare for this possibility? If simply owning Bitcoin was criminalized in, I'm assuming by my country, you probably mean the United States, which is where I spend some of my time nowadays, but <laughs> I, I'm not. I'm not affiliated with one country, and if you are, that's that's the first of your problems. If it was criminalized, simply the ownership was criminalized, that would tell me one thing. I no longer live in a country where there is respect for individual rights. There is absolutely no logical reason why simply the ownership of numbers, digital keys. Uh, and control over a digital currency without any relationship to committing an actual crime against anybody else, if that was criminalized, um, I would consider that criminalization of speech, criminalization of association, criminalization of expression, um, criminalization of political affiliation. And those would, in my mind, violate the fundamental tenets of liberty, I would um, use my Bitcoin to purchase the first and most yeah, easily accessible airfare um, to get the fuck out of that hellhole. Now, not everybody can do that, but if your country criminalizes simply the possession of numbers and the means you use to express yourself and associate yourself with other political organizations, you do not live in a free country. And, um, you're already quite far down the slippery slide, and you should maybe exit before things get really, really difficult. So the second part of the question is, 
how to best prepare for this possibility. Um, be prepared to travel, have a valid passport, keep a clean record, be ready to exit even when others are mocking you for being paranoid. Thank you.